In this video, I will be going through the changes that Retribution Paladin got in the Cataclysm expansion. Before getting any further, I would like to mention that only 12% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed. If you like my content and want to support my work, please consider subscribing. With that said, let's get back on the topic. The subjects I'm going to be covering is the new talents and glyphs, revamped and new abilities, gearing and stat priorities, reforges, the new rotation, professions, and some tricks that I have that I will show you at the end of this video. Alright, so to start with, this is the talents and glyphs we're gonna be playing with. The major glyphs are there to not make you ohm, especially the crusader strike and the hammer. For the prime glyph, the seal of truth glyph there is to make sure that you can reforge out of expertise into mastery on the pieces that don't have mastery because that stat is the primary stat that you have to stack, just like strength. Exorcism is just the running dot that goes onto the target for 6 seconds and it does 20% of your damage. Templar Verdict is just a flat out increased damage. There is some red paladins who play without Seal of Truth and just go Crusader Strike for 5% crit, but that's only doable if you have a lot of expertise and you don't lack any mastery on any of your pieces of gear. So the few notable changes that we have in talents and the spells that we've got so far is Divine Purpose, Sanctity of Battle, The Art of War, Long Arm of the Law, Guardian of the Ancient King, Inquisition, Zealotry, and Templar's Verdict. As you guys already know, Paladins have a different source of ability cost, which is Holy Power, and this is where Divine Purpose comes in clutch for some Paladins and procs rapidly during fights. When that happens, those Paladins will out-DPS any other Paladin in the DPS charts, which is why Red Paladins is an extremely RNG-based spec. Sanctity of Battle means as long as you're on haste procs from Bloodlust, etc., your Crusader Strike comes up on a global cooldown rather than on its main cooldown depending on your haste. The Art of War means if you have a fast weapon, you will get a lot more instant procs of Exorcism, but you will trade the damage output from your Steel, Templar and Crusader Strike for that. My suggestion is that you should always use a slow weapon as it's better for the rest of your abilities compared to Exorcism. Long Arm of the Law is a nice gap closer that we have, which saves you from a bad situation during boss fights or if you want to get close to the targets as fast as possible. Guardian of the Ancient King is an ability where it summons a companion with you, that deals damage and every time you deal damage with an ability, you gain a stacking buff up to 20 which gives you strength until the guardian duration runs out. You want to pair this ability when it's max stacks with wing and zealotry and trinket procs. For gear and stat priorities, all you want to care about is expertise first at 6.5% because you don't want to parry, dodge or miss any of the abilities, therefore you want to have the 17% spell hit as well which translates to 8% hit for melees anyways. After that you want to be reforging all of the pieces into mastery without griefing the expertise and hit of course. The Rage of Ages is actually the current piece but you could also grab the Sinestro Neck as it's only 5 DPS loss compared to this one and it's just a free grab and no one wants it. You should also take Impatience of Youth if you don't have it yet as it's base right now and then in the next phase you have to wait your turn to get the other trinkets over other players. For reforging, you can just go ahead and download the Reforge LUT Classic from Curseforge. This is a really nice add-on. You can just choose the preset for Paladin and it works perfectly. It gives you the melee hit cap, expertise, soft cap and what you need. And whenever you just use your seal, of course it's gonna be at 6.5 and it's a really fast and easy way to do this. Alright, so for rotations, there's actually two ways of doing rotations on pull. But for starters, if you have 4 sets for prot, equip that and wait for the raid leader to do a pull timer, here we're gonna just do a normal without lust pull rotation. So I use Guardian into Judgment, I use Crusader and Inquisition. While there is no ability up to press, I usually either Holy Rat or Consecration. And I just go back to normal. I get 3 Holy Powers if I am really unlucky without any Divine Purpose procs. Into Wing, Trinket and Zealotry. And I just constantly do the same thing with Templar's Verdict and Crusader Strike. If I'm being lusted, I just usually only do Templar's Verdict and Crusader, but here right now I'm pressing Hammer as a filler ability over Judgment, and if there's Exorcism, obviously I prior that over the two abilities.
Here's how I do my rotation on a boss fight from pull until like a minute in. For the tricks and things I know about Red that you might not know is one thing that you guys need to get is four set of protection tier because the four set gives Guardian of the Ancient Kings duration by 50% which means whenever you use this with the set you will have 45 seconds uptime on the Guardian. Obviously this is a pre-pull thing and not a mid-pull and here's on the screen that the bosses you can actually use it on. The second trick I have is I mean Almost every paladin knows this anyways. Bubble. You can actually bubble through a lot of mechanics, such as the Omnitron Magmatron ability where it fixates you and it casts on you. Just keep in mind that you have to bubble the initial cast and not the actual breath. The breath is gonna go through regardless of your bubble. So make sure that you do that properly. You can bubble the Philodius' Glaciate, which is really nice to keep DPS thing if you have the fire buff just to hit the ice. You also have the shield wall ability that you can just DPS through any mechanic without caring about dying, just make sure that you utilize this a lot during fights and boss fights. Remember your Arcane Turns that it actually gives mana back for your Consecration and Hold Rat that you're using as fillers. And don't forget Divine Plea to use this while uh, you're low on mana. And remember while a boss is not hittable like Nefarian or let's say Atromedes, when they're in the air just exorcism them. That's just free damage that you can use from far away. That's it for this video. I don't have much more to say about Red Paladin, it's an amazing class and lots of fun to play. But if you like my video, please go ahead and like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It helps me grow this channel a lot and I will continue doing these videos for you. And I will see you guys in the next video.